What's going on guys? My name is Jimmy Miller. I'm here to give you a few little tips about how you can start a dance studio today. Um, my story is a lot different than most people's, so I may have some different tips than other people, but let's just get straight to it. No fluff. This is how you start a dance studio. So tip number one, when you're first starting off and you have no idea how you're going to do this, the first thing you should probably think about is your brand or, or what you plan on teaching at the studio. So think about how you how you want to see your studio and to start to think of, of a logo, start to think of, of things like that, like the, the kind of styles that you want to teach and then write it all down. Um, as you write it down, you'll get the idea of what kind of studio you're going to going to be there. So, um, so that's tip number one. Tip number one is branding. That's tip number one. Tip number two, after you've got your brand together and you've got an idea of, of what you want, now you need to go into actually making it happen. And you can use Fiverr to come up with a cool logo or if you're someone like, like me, um, I know how to do it Photoshop so I was able to create my own logo. Um, if you have a friend that knows how to use Photoshop, uh, get that to them. They may take it to a whole nother level that you couldn't even think of. So use Fiverr.com, use a friend, or create the brand yourself. Um, so that's tip number two. Okay, tip number three. Find a spot to rent. Not saying that you have to do that, but I think it's the best approach when you're first starting out and you're first developing uh, who you are. So. As you start to grow, maybe down the road, you can consider maybe building your own spot and having it to yourself. But I think starting out, you just want to rent a small little space or maybe do it out of your basement, maybe do it in your garage. Wherever you, can, you have access to some space uh, is really where I suggest, especially when you're first starting out and you're not working with a whole lot of money. So find a, sp a, sp a space to rent is tip number three. Tip number four. Tip number four is to get insurance. Um, so once you get get everything together, you're going to need insurance in order to run your dance studio. There is a ton, tons of different places that offer insurance for, for businesses. There's even some places online. Um, I can't really think of anything right now, but the company that I use is Consolidated Insurance. I'm not even sure if they're even outside of the area that I'm in. So that's tip number four, get insurance. Tip number five, Make sure you have a business license. Make sure you can actually do business under the name that you, you've done. Uh, make sure you get it approved. Make sure that you know the inspector comes by your studio and they come and they look and they make sure everything's okay. You want to go through that whole process of doing that. So once again, let's just do a quick overview of the whole process. So step one, Branding, figuring, figuring out what you want to do, who, who, who you want to be, and how you want to go about doing it, the, the things you want to teach, and, and uh, writing it all down. Tip number two, branding again, but this time this is more so about the logo, the look and feel of the space that you plan on creating. Uh, tip number three, securing a space. You want to find a place to rent, you don't have to rent, but I suggest it when you're starting out. Tip number four is uh, make sure you have insurance. So insurance to cover yourself, insurance to cover the dancers and the people that are coming, uh, and, and insurance for outside performances as well. Uh, and tip number five is to make sure you have a, a, a legal name to do business under. So those are my tips for starting a dance studio. No, it is not that cut and dry. No, it is not that simple, but it is pretty simple when you get, get started. Uh, if you want more details, feel free to click the like button, click the subscribe button, leave me a message here, um, and I'll be more than willing to help you uh, get started on your dance studio um, with more tips and tricks. Alright, hit me up.